Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something which I have not done before and I hope that you guys will enjoy and it's a showcase of my entire collection uh, up to date. So let's get started. I guess I'll start just sh start by showing everything. There's not really a particular order overall. but So first I have my uh, step up and down transformer and then my 12 volt transformer. I only have one of these transformers so far but I do have plans to buy a second one soon. Also take this blue box. So this holds like my spare parts. Everything else contains the complete sets, but this box has just a bunch of spare parts and rails and everything. So hopefully you can see okay. So in here I have a bunch of spare cables. These are 190 stud long ones and then some other shorter cables. And yes, this is an extra red motor, but this one is actually broken. It is not, I, I don't want to say it's not working because it, it just, there's, it seems to be that there's something inside it that is not, is not aligned or is, is missing or broken or something like that. So when I try to run it, it makes a very bad noise and doesn't actually run. I do have plans to repair that soon and then I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with it, but I will probably make another steam engine or something like that with uh, BrickLink parts. I have some, I have, oh, I showed these in my 7750 review, some more parts with 7750 stickers, a couple of extra parts. I have a couple of minifigures in here, some doors with, these are extra ones that I got with my 7730, and then I do have a set of 7722 doors here. Uh, here I have some steam cylinders. These are mismatched ones. And I actually got these two cable holding bricks because the seller that I bought from was selling them for pretty cheap and they're only, they were only released in the 7750. Interestingly, I do have a couple of these hinges and the ones with, so this one is just kind of the one with the hollow stud, but the ones with solid studs, the ones with three teeth here, these are actually pretty rare. They were, I think in BrickLink, they were only produced in the 7727 and 77, or 7815, the sleeper carriage. So these ones with three teeth actually sell for about eight to $10 per piece. And I got these in my 7745, but they're not in the inventory in BrickLink, so I replaced them with hollow studs. So I guess if I ever want a BrickLink together, a 7815 or 7727, I just saved myself about $20 in hinges. I have two extra weight bricks here. These are a little bit scratched up. Some plates for points and uh, point indicator brick here. And then I also have in the same department an electric point motor. This one, I had the remote for it in the bottom of the box, which I'll get to soon. And I also have my two manual points in the bottom of the box, so I can use that to create one manual point. I've got parts for two extra uh, buffers. I've got the magnet holders as well in here. And then here's some random like lighting bricks. So I have a light, I have one light prism and then I have another light prism. This has this, this has stickers and this is like uh, the 7760 danger stickers. But these were actually, I got these just random with my 7820, which I purchased off of eBay incomplete. And I had these stickers. I think they're actually from the 7720 originally because for several several reasons that I won't get into now because it would take a while to explain. But I believe the stickers here were originally from the 7720. I took them off of the mail van, put them on this prism. You may have seen those in the shunter that I made. And then I have this one headlight brick with a sticker as well. I've got some like a one by one studs here as well, red and yellow ones. I have two of the old style light bricks with the two plug holes on the back. And then lastly, in this compartment, I have these. So these are actually from the blue era and they're, they're motor pickups for 12 volt motors. But I bought these because the contacts inside are the same as the one, the same contacts in 12 volt motors. So if I need to replace the contacts, I can. Maybe if you saw my 745 review, the motor, one of the contacts is very worn. So then it's, it's starting to have connection problems. So I may have to open them up open that motor up and replace the contacts. And I can break these blocks, take the contacts out and then replace them. 
to the second layer. Second layer is nothing special. It's just a bunch of four and a half volt rails. I have, I don't know how many straights. I think around 50 of these uh, straight rails. And then I have a couple of curved rails here. These are outer curved rails. These are inner curved rails. Underneath, a bunch of bags of things. So I have black train rims. These are, there's an empty bag for train rims and then a bag of gray train rims. These are a little bit used because I took them all off of all the motors that I have right now. These are bags of new train rims. They are not original Lego. I bought these from, I bought these, they're reproduction ones from a seller on eBay. I have a big bag of sleeper plates. So these are second era sleeper plates. I think it's four, 4166 with the cable grooves. You can see maybe, yeah, this one has the cable grooves here and all the ones in this bag do. These are first era sleepers with no cable grooves. A bunch of these have broke, actually all of these have broken clips because the first era ones are more brittle. This is the remote for the point uh, for the 7863 that I have here. The motor is up here in the first tray, which I already showed. Here's a bag of the 12 volt straight conducting rails. Most of these are without cable holes. I think I have like one with cable holes in the bag as well. Curved rails, I have my, also you can see the wire for the connecting one to the transformer. I have two cross tracks. This one I got a while back. This one I actually purchased from a seller in the United States. It looks to be in really nice condition, almost near new. And I got it for only like $5 or something, which is a great deal. Two manual points, nothing special. You can see the manual point motors. Obviously the electric ones have the plug holes here and these don't have the plates because the plates are in the top. So. That is the first box. And then everything else that I'll be showing is complete sets. Okay, so next I'll take this box out here. This box here, I have a bunch of accessory sets plus one of my train sets. First on top is the 7866. So you can see that okay, maybe this 7866, the remote controlled level crossing. Uh, everything in this video is disassembled. It's all in boxes. Uh, some of them I have the original box, some of them I don't have the original box, so I've just put them in bags or cardboard boxes or something like that. So 7866, complete of course. You can see the bag, this bag with the red top uh, that's sideways right now. This is for all the rare parts like the point motors and the cables, the red light bricks, the remote, stuff like that. And then there's a bag down here with common parts and then just loose in the bag are the, is the road plate and then the smaller plate. And then in the back, you can see the back of the instructions. So that's that. Next is this bin. You can see on the top, it says 7745. I have the instructions. I don't have the original box for this set. Then you can see I have everything laid out in here, the boards. This bag has like stickered parts and other rare parts. And then maybe you can see the bag here, if you can see that correctly, this has the motor. You can see the two wheels here and then the weights because I like to keep the motor and weights separate. They're heavy, they can get easily scratched and damaged. So I try to keep those in separate bags. And then my next bin inside here. This is my first bin of electric accessories. These are the ones, these are the early ones that I bought that I did not buy with, with original boxes. So I have 7867, the train light posts. I haven't reviewed that yet, I should review that. Two signals. I just numbered them because these were the two ones that I got originally, but they have different part variants. The one 7860-1 has an early remote, 7860-2 has a later remote, but beside that, they're basically identical. I have two electric points, sets 7858 and 7859. I can get those correctly. You can see these are, of course, complete. And then 
I have a bunch of like uh, brochures and other things. So this is a 1980 brochure, 1983 brochure. There's the instructions for 7860. I have a service pack brochure. Um, I'm not sure when this is from. Maybe, I think it's 1987. I'm not gonna check that right now. I'm not sure though. Supplemental, uh, supplemental set accessories. And then this is a large advertising book from 1983. I think at some point I'll make a like a review on all the advertisements and everything, but I don't really have that many right now, so it'd be a pretty short review if I were to do that. Now I think we're gonna get into the part with the original boxes, which should get pretty interesting. Let's start out with the supplemental sets. You saw these in the beginning. These are four boxed supplemental sets. I have the 7862. This one, yes, is the one that I opened sealed. Decoupler, it's got the remote and the point motor and then on the inner compartment is, of course, the decoupler base and all the other parts. Still in very, like, both this and the signal are in very good condition. Like near new 7860 of course this one has a little bit of a damaged box but inside you'll see that everything is in perfect condition remote got the original brochure everything else the rails are still i i mean I, you saw that in my last video i cleaned them so they're still very nice so that's the signal and then i have two points i'm just going to open one of them up so that I can show you what's inside. You saw these in the review that I made about the 7858, 7859. I made custom inner boxes because I didn't buy the inner boxes, I only bought the outer boxes. So I have uh, the remote, but there's no like structure to the inner, there's no uh, inner tray or anything, it's just a box and I have all the parts loose in the box, but it's okay because it's a pretty sturdy inner box. So those are all the accessories. Next big train set, 7730, electric goods train. This one is probably the set that I have in the best condition, I think, except the motor. The motor actually, the motor in this one has a stripped axle, and I'll show that in a minute, but this one, of course, is the rare tray lid. I, I'm, I still think I'm very lucky to have gotten it with the tray lid, even though I paid a lot for the set. This is the motor. So what I say when I mean a stripped axle, this wheel is almost entirely disconnected from the drivetrain. Um, you it will still move if you move the other wheel, but this axle you can see. If I turn from this side, turn it turns from this other side as well, which means that there's it's disconnected from the drivetrain. That's why I want to repair my other red motor. If I can repair that, I can not have to use this because the 7730 has a lot of a lot of trouble on points. You don't see these in the layout videos because I edit all it I edit it all out, but. It does have trouble on the points. Other than that, I have this. So it has the trays in it, the green trays and the transparent tray in the middle. I have all the rails and everything in the middle. I tried to organize this pretty nicely. Actually, I tried to organize, like, I organize it like a sealed set, but I don't know how well I did on that. This tray has all of the, uh, the regular bricks and then the right tray has a bag of sleepers and then all the stickered parts because I like to keep those separate. The stickers can get easily damaged. Here's the resting sticker sheet, which I did show in my review as well, and then the instructions in the bottom of the box. Again, I think I was pretty lucky to get this set because any tray lid is quite rare and I, I paid a lot, but it's a pretty rare listing, so I'm happy that I got it. Next, I store all my stuff in cardboard boxes. Or most of it, if it's not, then it's not like in a plastic container like some of my other sets. But here I have another original, another set in its original box. I try to wrap them in bubble wrap so they don't get damaged. Seven eight twenty mail van. Hopefully you can see that okay. And here is the 
bag with all the regular parts and then besides that I have the stickered assemblies and then the plate and then some of the, some of the other rare bricks. Actually if I can get this out you'll see underneath I have the instructions but I also have the original sticker sheet which I bought complete from a seller in the United States which I was pretty lucky to get. Usually you have to buy internationally for these sticker sheets but I bought it actually new from a seller in the United States and then I just used the stickers that were that were needed in the instructions because I did buy this I did buy the set off of eBay with the box and instructions but it did not include the stickers or a bunch of the other parts that you need for it but it did include all the rare parts so I'm pretty happy about that I'm just going to move that to the side because I think I'll have to organize it later Next, I have a small set. You can probably already see it. Some of these sets aren't stored very well, but 7810, locomotive without motor. Like the 7820, um, I tried to put the standard, the regular parts, just in a bag, and then the bottom of the box has some of the rare parts, like the train base plate, the wheels, and then all the stickered assemblies are in there. So you can see, like the DB7810 one. Oh, and then the, the rear windows are also in there. All right, we're nearing the end, and I'm going to save the best set for last. Some of you may already know what it is, but of course. Next is the 7865. 12 volt motor. This one I got complete and boxed, so has a type 3 motor here, or no, not, not type 3, type 4. Got the instructions, and then this is the first version box, but I think it's a late release because of the motor type and also the parts that were included in it. I'll put that to the side. Got another box here, of course. This one I have more bubble wrap. This is actually the tracks for my 7745. It's a pretty big bag because the 7745 does, does come with a pretty big loop of track. So these are all the tracks, sleepers, outer rails, inner rails. And then I also have the 7861 lighting set 12 volt. It's complete. The inner box is not in, well, neither the inner nor the outer box is in very good condition, but. It's okay because I only paid like five dollars for the box. It's not that much. And then last, of course, the set I haven't shown yet. Well, you probably know what it is. If you've watched my reviews or my layout videos, Packed very nicely. The seller did a very good packing job, so I just kept most of what they put in. Those foam things I put on the corners of the box, because I'd rather not damage them. That will go to the side. And then the wrapping inside, oh, you can probably already see it from the side of the 7750 steam engine. Inside, I showed in my review the custom inner tray that I made out of cardboard because obviously the inner trays, the original ones, are very, very rare and extremely expensive. So I did not get mine with the inner tray or the resting sticker sheet, but it has everything else. It just lifts out. Instructions are underneath. And this one, the red motor, is in really nice condition. This is a Type 1 motor from 1980. They did 22-0, contacts are in good condition. And then I already showed in my review, but I'll show a little bit again. In, inside the inner box, there's the stickered parts in the top right corner, because the 7750 stickers are already very rare. Then I've got uh, all the bags. I've tried to organize these like a sealed set. I found pictures of the sealed set. Check out my review if you're interested. 
underneath this is like the bogey plates and the hoses and magnets. I've got the rare red, uh, red wheel blocks here and then everything else is just organized in bags. And then this, this bag actually has the, maybe you can see the rare windows. There are four of these rare windows. That's why the set is so expensive. Other than that, the box, the inner box is not in great condition. You can see it's got some marks, but that's okay because I got this for a pretty good price. And the back you can see as well. So overall, I think I've completed my entire collection of 12 volt sets. I've got some other parts that I made off of Bricklink quarters, but those are not, those are not very big. So I'm not going to show those here. I'm only showing what's relevant to my 12 volt collection. So everything that you've seen up to this point has been made with these sets, but of course I hope to get more sets soon. So I think that about brings me to the end of this video and I really hope you enjoyed seeing my entire collection. Of course I'm always looking for new trains and I think I may be able to purchase a new train sometime soon, so that will be a good addition to the collection and I'll of course make videos about it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.